with Scott Bywood here and I'm just at the local cafe um, having some coffee and doing a bit of research for a, for a client. And the concept or the idea came to me that you know, when you're writing a, a headline for a sales letter, what you'll often find is you'll find the hook is buried deep into the copy. And what I mean by that is that you know you might have a you know a three-page sales letter or even an ad that's you know that's just half a page or a quarter of a page or a squeeze page, and you might find that you know, the hook you're really uh, is buried deep into the copy. And what I often find is, let's say I'm reading for a 16-page sales letter, is that the hook is on page 12 of the sales letter or page 10 of the sales letter, and you can take that little point and you can put it to the top of, and turn that into your headline and make that your lead. And you may find as you go through that sales copy that you've actually got you know, three or four or five or six leads that you can open with um, that, will, that will potentially beat your current lead. So if you've got a sales letter right now that's working uh, for you and it's, and it's successful for you, uh, what I encourage you to do is look through it and see if you can find other hooks or other, you know, other leads that are buried deep into the copy. And one place to look for that is the bullets. So if you look in the bullets and you find something that really, really stands out, you could dig that out of, let's say, a sales letter and actually turn that in to your main headline. And uh, yeah, you, you'll often find there's you know six or twelve ways that you can approach you know something from you know for example if we take something as simple as carpet cleaning you could approach it from you know making a promise like I'll clean your home quickly and make the carpets dry um, or it's free uh, you could have proof you could have it have it come from a, a customer angle so you know a testimonial type of um, type of opening. And then you could also start with a problem, you know, are you suffering from you know, this problem? Or you could do an offer, like I'll come and clean one room for free to show you just how good our carpet cleaning is. So that's just an example of, of four openings, but if you put your thinking cap on, you can probably find for most businesses at least a dozen openings uh, using the same, yeah, you know, the majority of the copy the same. Um, but just coming at it from a different angle and if you get the hook right it could significantly boost your results so uh, that's all for now um, from the from the coffee shop and I will talk to you again soon to help you get more customers I'm giving away a free gift to everyone who watches this video it's a brand new guide called seven ways to get more traffic and customers which includes a swag of cheat sheets for getting results fast Download it for free by clicking the link in the description below this video or visiting moretrafficandcustomers.com.